Thank you, everybody. Thanks for having us. Uh, I will provide a brief description and then I will let uh, Liana uh, basically bring the start of the show here. So very similar to the uh, topic that we just saw in the previous uh, demo, imagine that now you have invested in Viva Connections. And for people that don't know what Viva Connection is, Viva Connection is the one of the latest products that Microsoft created that brings the ability to... Uh, surface functionalities and capabilities in a very condensed and familiar way to people that can use them from the get-go uh, without being on the desktop that, are, that is primarily designed for mobile interactivity, just like you are a frontline worker, you don't have a desktop, you have a mobile device and you want to interact with the tools that are required for you to make your daily job done. Daily job done. And you have concept of dashboards where you have cards and you can create custom cards by using a different set of functionalities and capabilities, such as a SharePoint framework, or even very recently the ability to have a bot that was written for Microsoft Teams or a Microsoft or a bot that was written using the uh, Microsoft bot framework, and you can have that bot being able to also create cards. Um, so let's say that you have Viva Connections in your environment, you're invested very heavily in Viva Connections, you have a custom of cards, they're very successful, you can surface that in Viva Connections and in the dashboard. But at one point, what if you would be able to reuse those cards even further and, for example, in Copilot and in the Copilot chat experiences? So it's similar to the messaging extension that we have seen before, what bunch of work that we have done recently is the ability to basically teach Copilot that there is this thing called Viva Connections and it has these things called a dashboard and there is a bunch of cards available for the dashboard. And when there is an interaction that is happening between the end user and the copilot, copilot understands there is a specific card that was created within the company or was used by the company. And that card is able to provide information that the user was looking for and the card is able to surface in Viva Connection, uh, sorry, surface in Copilot, and the user is able to interact directly with the card without leaving the Copilot itself. So this is a, basically uh, something that works for uh, every kind of card. Um, doesn't matter if it's a first party card, doesn't matter if it is third party card, doesn't matter the technology that we use to create this third party card, all the cards are available and no, uh, Copilot has knowledge and awareness of those cards being available in, in the organizations and most importantly Copilot has awareness that those cards are cards that you can use because Viva Connections also supports our targeting. You can have a uh, well set of cards but not all those cards mm -hmm. could be available for you so this concept of audience card targeting is also respected as part of the Copilot interaction. Uh, the other important things that we did was that uh, we are surfacing all the cards that already exist. Uh, we basically grounded the content and the knowledge on existing attributes that the card are available. So just like title and description, and the copilot understands those cards without any needs to change those cards or to change the code behind the card. And one of the things that we are working on and we want to be able to surface before we release this capability to general availability is also to add the new functionalities so that the developer and the operator, which is this persona that is in charge of building the dashboard in Viva Connection, will be able to also declare specific intent for the card to make the cards more relevant uh, to Copilot itself. With that said, let me pass virtually the mic to Liana, which will show what is this about. Yeah, thank you so much, Luca. I'll go ahead and share my screen now. Okay, let me know if you all can see that. Sorry, I think my internet might have cut out a little bit there, but yeah, thank you so much. Yep. Um, and, and can, you, can you zoom in a bit, uh, Liana? It's really, yes. really, 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 really small for anybody watching. So. Yes, let me go ahead and zoom in a bit. Okay, is that looking better? Yep, that's better. 
Excellent. Perfect. Awesome. So hi, everyone. Um, I will demonstrate Copilot's ability to integrate with the Viva Connections dashboard. And as Luca just mentioned, uh, surface adaptive cards if they can help with the user's prompt. So here we have the Relic Cloud tenant site, and I have opened the Copilot uh, chat pane. Go ahead and start a new chat. Um, so first, I will ask Copilot for information on requesting wellness time off. So I'll go ahead and type the prompt. How can I request uh, well-being time off? I think it should almost be done. Okay, perfect. So as you can see, Copilot is able to correctly identify and respond with the corresponding adaptive card from our dashboard, which in this case is the wellness adaptive card. And from here, we can actually interact with the card. So open up the quick view. And as you can see from here, I can submit the information needed for requesting a well-being day. So I'll go ahead and select this upcoming Friday. And I'll go ahead and type in some uh, additional comments here. So I'll type in mental health, time off, and I'll hit schedule. So as you can see, the card is fully interactive and functional from within the Copilot response itself. And for the next prompt, I'll go ahead and ask for more information on how to send praise to my peers. So I'll go ahead and prompt for Copilot, what is the best way to send praise to my peers? Okay, and we'll wait for that response here. And as you can see, Copilot has responded to my inquiry with the praise card, which if I go ahead and select, it would actually open up a Teams redirect here so I can go ahead and visit the praise feature. And finally, I will ask for some information regarding my pay stop. So I'll go ahead and prompt, type the prompt, where can I find uh, pay slip information? So we'll go ahead and wait for that response there to show the last card. And as you can see, Copilot has responded with the payslip information card, which I am able to select and go ahead and view the corresponding information related to payslip. So I can go ahead and uh, view the separate months and all of that information there will get updated. Um, so yeah, that about wraps up our demo for this feature. But um, yeah, thank you so much. <music>